So you know how like, if you've seen Family Guy, when the characters are drunk, like there's always like there's one eye that's lazier than the other. I feel like that's what's happening to me. But anyways, that was really short. So let's, I'm just going to read through chapter three as well because why not? Okay, so chapter three. Begin the transition period. So we finally ended up surviving. Oh, by the way, so we're done with Robert for now. We're back to the rabbit class of the Sunshine Cluster. So we have Yamato, Emily, and David. We're back to those three now. But anyways. So we finally ended up surviving the whole first week of school, Yamato chuckled, walking down the hallway with Emily and David. Emily just nodded silently. David replied, I didn't think I'd make friends this easily, you know? Yeah, I know, Yamato said, and dot dot dot, he blinked and stopped abruptly in his tracks. The other two stopped with him, and Emily looked at him and asked what was wrong. Yamato's eyes scanned over her skin and stared curiously into her eyes. Emily shuddered a little, holding her sketchbook closely to her as if trying to use it as some sort of shield for, pro for protection. Um, dot dot dot, Yamato? Dot dot dot, question mark. What are you doing? Dot, 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 question mark. Are you sick? <laughs> Yamato raised an eyebrow. You look, dot, 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 really pale. Like, paler than usual, dot, dot, dot. Why did I use so many ellipses? Like, they say you can't be a writer if you're not a reader, but like, I read books. And I can't, there was, no, there are no books that use ellipses like this much. I do? Yeah, and your eyes are the same color as your beret, Yamato said. I thought they were getting darker, but then I thought it was just my imagination, but ellipses. David, come over here and look at Emily's eyes. David peered in. Wow, ellipses, they're really dark. Ellipses. Emily backed away and tried to shout, but her voice was too soft. Back up a bit. I'm just fine. And for the part that says her voice was too soft, I think I said in the first chapter that her voice was like barely above a whisper or something. Like, who talks like that? Back up a bit. I'm just fine. I noticed another thing, Emily. Yamato tilted his head with wide, innocent eyes. Normally, with people, in the, with people so in your face like that, you'd start to blush. Dot, dot, dot. But you didn't blush that time. Ellipses. Well, look at you, Emily frowned. You're getting paler, too. And your eyes aren't, ellipses, exactly, ellipses, as light as they used to be, ellipses, either, ellipses. I don't know if it's funnier to keep the ellipses in, or if it's distracting that I'm saying them, but I, I, don't, I don't know. This is how much wine I have left, so... Anyways, shocking realization came over Emily's face and she stared at him, horror stricken. Yamato, dot 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 question mark. What's happening to us, Yamato, or dot 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 question mark. I don't know, Yamato shook his head and stared at the floor before letting his eyes shift up to meet David's. And he looked curiously at his face and his eyes behind those glasses. David wears glasses. 
Emily read the horror on Yamato's face and, and traced his eyes to David's face as well. David panicked, his eyes quickly flickering between the two. Wh what Question mark, explanation mark. That's another thing. If you're looking to publish, don't do question mark, explanation mark. Use one or the other. You're pillar too, ellipses. And thinner, I think, ellipses said quietly. Ellipses. Emily said quietly. And your light green eyes have gotten darker, ellipses. You know what? No way. Yamato shook his head and turned away. I don't believe this. You're imagining all of this. I know it. Right, and we're all having the same hallucination, Emily rolled her eyes impatiently. David shrugged. It could be possible, ellipses. I doubt it, Emily replied quickly. Something is happening to us, ellipses, and I wonder if it's happening to the whole school as well. Well, it can't just be happening to us three, Yamato realized. Look at everyone else around us. How do they look? Her words were caught in Emily's, sorry. The words were caught in Emily and David's throats. And if there had been color in their faces, it would have drained completely with their mouths twitching as if speaking quickly. <laughs> what was that sentence? Emily twitched and shivered in realization coming up with the same theory that David did, and they both turned to Yamato automatically as if he had all the answers, which, with his charm turned on, it most certainly did seem that way. <sighs> Yamato stared at David, then at Emily, then nodded, and the other two returned their nod in the same sort of secret understanding. Something was going on. Everyone in the rabbit class of the Sunshine Cluster seemed pale, and their eyes seemed darker, and all of them, every single one of them, and it was noticed that all, sorry, that a few other groups of sunshine freshmen had noticed the same things. For there were groups of them scattered about the hallways, panicking. They gawked at their own skin, their friends' skins, everyone else's skins. They gazed into each other's eyes. And a few of the weaker ones, the more terrified ones, began to hyperventilate. Because we all know hyperventilation is a sign of weakness. I want to know what the hell is going on, Yamato said firmly. It was during class when he was asked to be excused to the restroom and he found himself storming to the offices. The principal's office, counselor's office, anyone's office. He just wanted someone who had the answers. However, his mission was cut short when he saw a girl with full, dirty blonde hair. It was Lenore. Now this, this is, there. this mistake has happened a lot, but like, this is not, this doesn't make any sense because Yamato doesn't know that it's Lenore. We, the reader, would infer that it's Lenore, but like, it was Lenore. We're assuming we're in Yamato's head, so he wouldn't know her yet. He wouldn't know her name. So if you're writing, be careful of things like that too. If you're in a character's head and they don't know something, you know, if you're writing third person limited. I was writing some sort of third person, I don't know, but anyway, it was Lenore. Their eyes locked and stayed locked for a very long while. And all that while, Lenore is fighting back the confusing 
urge to growl at him. So we're in Lenore's head now, suddenly. Her temper was beginning to kick in, and she spoke harshly, What are you looking at? You is in all caps. That's so embarrassing. You, obviously, Lenore replied in a voice. Yamato replied in a voice just as hard, harsh, but still somehow managing to keep the velvetness of his voice. What are you doing in the hallways of the sunshine cluster? That's none of your damn business. So why don't you just keep walking, Lenore sneered. Unlike you, I have important things to do. Oh, like what? Your nails? Wow, Yamato, way to be fucking sexist. Ha ha, very funny. Lenore spat her acid-like sarcasm to match her blood-curdling glare. Out of my way! You know, I've seen you before, dot dot dot. L Yamato softened a little. You weren't so mean then, dot dot dot. Yeah? Well, maybe you weren't as stupid then. Lenore snapped cold-heartedly and shoved him out of the way, proceeding to walk away without looking back. What the hell was all that about? Ellipses? Question mark. Yamato mumbled to himself. Ellipses. And that's when it hit him. That blonde girl still had color in her cheeks. And her eyes were still quite light. He tried to dismiss it as nothing. Then he shook it off and continued walking to the offices, picking up where his mission left off. When he got there, though, he was nearly hit by the door that was so suddenly swung open by Edgar. Edgar. Edgar stared down at Yamato as if he were the Antichrist. In parentheses, the Antichrist? What a strange and slightly ironic comparison to make. That's, I guess that's the narrator breaking the fourth wall. I don't know what the... Um... <clears throat> Edgar grumbled, slamming the door shut. Watch where you're going, boy. Yamato ignored his words and asked, Hey, you teach the upperclassmen in the sunshine cluster, right? Right? Why does Yamato know this already? That's correct, Edgar snapped. I'll be teaching you next year. Why do you ask? Well, ellipses, I just wanted to know what's going on, ellipses, with the students, I mean. Yamato blinked, licking his perfect lips. Like, ellipses, the teachers won't answer any of my questions. Then they must be stupid questions, Edgar smirked. How did Edgar get a job in education? Like, no, listen, Yamato continued. See, ellipses, how come everyone here is turning pale, but the eyes are turning darker? As soon as he finished that sentence, there was a sharp feeling in his chest and it became harder to breathe as panic overcame him. For it wasn't until just then that he realized that all the teachers and professors of the sun Sunshine Cluster were pale with dark eyes. Ellipses. Why, ellipses, are we beginning to look like the teachers here? Ellipses, question mark. That is none of your business, Edgar snapped. Never ask that again. He then turned to walk briskly away, but Yamato was determined it wasn't going to stop until at least one of his questions was answered. He tried to catch up with Edgar. Well, will you at least tell me why we aren't allowed to see our friends and family from the outside world? Go away this instant before I punish you. Edgar said that. Hey, don't you think I have the right to know why I'll never see my loved ones again? 
question mark explanation point. Edgar stopped and turned his face to Yamato so quickly that it seemed like a blur, grabbing his collar and lifting him off his feet. This, Yamato thought, was not the kind of strength a man his age should have. And, ignoring Yamato's struggle, Edgar glared deeply into Yamato's, Yamato's eyes, piercing right through him and spoke in a low growl, If you ask more, one more of those stupid questions, we will have you severely punished. Do you understand me? Y your hands! Dot, 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 Yamato choked. They were so cold that they chilled Yamato to the very bone with the slightest touch. What of them? Question mark, question mark. Edgar threw Yamato to the ground. Why isn't Edgar, like, fired for, like, child abuse? Anyways, he threw Yamato to the ground. And... N n nothing da 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 just that da 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 Yamato scrambled to his feet just that's what in all caps <laughs> question mark explanation mark nothing ellipses just ellipses F forget i said anything yamato stuttered and ran away edgar watched him run away smiling smugly in the meantime, Lenore was hurrying back to her class, her countenance written all over with confusion, confusion and receding anger. Sarah, who had been flirting with Brian in vain at the moment, noticed this right away. Her slightly worried eyes prompted Brian to look in the same direction and he too noticed something strange about Lenore. When she sat down, Sarah didn't waste any time asking questions. Hey, Lenore, da, da, da. are you feeling all right? Da, da, da. And I wrote all right as one word. I mean, more people are using it that way, but all right is supposed to be two words. Yeah, I'm fine, she nodded. It's just that I had this weird feeling today, ellipses. I thought I saw one of the guys from the Sunshine Cluster. When I saw him before, we had no problem. But today, something about him just annoyed me. Da da da. Like, da da da. I hated him or something. Sarah formed a question mark with her face. <laughs> Sarah formed a question mark with her face. What is that supposed to look like? Like, Lenore noticed this and continued with more enthusiasm. I'm serious. I don't know what happened. I wanted to, like, growl at him or something. You, ellipses, wanted to growl, ellipses. Brian repeated slowly as if he were having a hard time trying to comprehend it. Um, ellipses, right, ellipses. No, I'm dead serious. Dead serious, Lenore gripped at the edges of her desk, leaning over it a little. And it's, you know what, I'm just going to stop with the ellipses. You know what, you can, you can probably figure out the pattern. And it's creepy. What are they doing to those sunshine students anyway? They all look weird. I noticed that too, Sarah nodded. They could all use some sun. Yes. Enough with this crazy talk, Brian rolled his eyes. I'm not wasting my break in here. I'm going to my dorm. He stood up. <clears throat> my phone cut off at some point uh, because I ran out of memory, so. Let's start back at some point. I don't know what's the last thing you heard, but. She, she wanted to growl for some reason. Okay. No, I'm dead serious. Dead serious. Lenore gripped at the edges of her desk, leaning in a little. And it's creepy. What are they doing to those sunshine students anyway? They all look weird. I noticed that too, Zara nodded. They all could use some sun. Yeah, enough of this crazy talk, Brian rolled his eyes. I'm not wasting my break here. I'm going to my dorm, he stood up. 
Sarah stood up too. You know, I could use more sun too. Can I walk you there? Sarah is so thirsty, you guys. Sarah wants Brian so badly. Like, oh yeah, I can walk you up to your dorm. Like, bitch, sit down. You've known this guy for like, what, a week? Sit down, I have several seats. Anyways, Brian shrugged dismissively in response. Sarah, and in response, Sarah smiled brightly. Her face brightened. So did her eyes, it seemed. At least they did, according to Lenore. Hey, Sarah, Lenore blinked. Are you wearing contacts? No, Sarah answered cautiously. Why do you ask? Well, it's just that your eyes, Lenore l blinked and looked away. Nothing. Maybe it's just me. You two go have fun walking. Her worried mood suddenly lightened up with a smile on her lips. She winked at s this side's better than this side, honestly, because like this side looks weird, but this side is fine. That's just how my face is. I'm not asymmetric. I'm, I'm asymmetrical. But anyways, she winked. Um, where was I? She winked at Sarah, who gave her a curious look. She didn't like the way Lenore said, have fun. It made it somehow seem as if they were going to do something inappropriate. Oh, yes, yeah, Sarah. As if you, want, you don't want to do inappropriate things with Brian. Okay. However, breaking her thoughts, Brian called over his shoulder. Are you coming? He was already heading out the door. Sarah rushed to catch up with him. Lenore breathed deeply and took a compact mirror to took out the compact mirror to renew her lip gloss. When her eyes met the reflection, she stopped and stared for a long time, trying to convince herself that she didn't see a piercing blue pair of orbs staring back at her. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate that so much. When writers describe eyes as orbs, that's the worst thing in the world. Normally, her eyes were a regular kind of blue, parentheses, well, they were regular, according to her. Now, looking in the mirror, she saw that her own eyes had lightened, just like Sarah's. So... Sarah was walking by, walking by Brian's. There's no, there's no transition. You just go from being inside Lore, uh, Lenore's head and suddenly you are Sarah. Like I was, transitions don't exist in this story. So Sarah, she said this, was she was walking by Brian's side with her hands clasp, clasped behind her. How are you? Well, Re uh, Brian. Brian began with a bored sigh. I could be better. But then again, so can everyone. I still want to know why we can't leave this bleeding school, even on the weekends. <laughs> bleeding. Bleeding. Like, okay. I'm pretty sure... Do British people even say bleeding? Like this bleeding school. Do they even still say that? Well, I think I was just trying to be edgy. Yeah, that's strange. Sarah nodded in agreement. I heard that certain upper classmen can visit the outside world. Brian added thoughtfully. Yes, I do miss my family, but I wonder why they'd want to send me here. Perhaps they think it's for the best. Brian replied, but, well, hopefully we can visit them in a year, huh? Sarah forced a smile, then took a look around her, taking in her natural surroundings. The sky was gray, the trees were white, leafless, and dead. The grass was crisp and faded. Everything made her feel as if she were caught in an impending depression. And it made her heart sink. Down, down it went into the deepest and darkest pits of black inkiness. She sighed 
sadly. The gloomy scene's getting to you too, I assumed. Brian asked her. Oops. I thought that was Sarah speaking. Yeah. How'd you know? Sarah blinked. Brian allowed a faint smile. I can see it all over your face. You're a nature lover, right? I bet the neglect of the plant health is getting to you. Sarah's heart began to race when he smiled. He hadn't smiled at her the entire first week in school. In fact, he hadn't smiled at all during the first week of school, parentheses, as Sarah could have sworn that she heard a creaking noise. <laughs> Get it? Because his face is creaking when he smiles because he doesn't smile. Yeah, that's not overdone. Um, I can see it all over your face. Wait, where was I? Then she replied, yes, it's getting to me. I wish I could take care of it all and make a garden while I'm at it. She giggled lightly. Brian's smile faded. You wouldn't be able to do that. I know, Sarah sighed sadly. But you know, something does need to be done. Why? Brian asked without genuine curiosity in his voice. And went on to say, matter of factly, all it'll do is waste money. And who knows where the hell the money for this school is coming from. It's certainly not the government. The parents, as far as I know, aren't asked to contribute much. None of this makes bloody sense. Is Brian from the UK? If so, I'm pretty sure they would just use fucking instead of bloody. None of this makes fucking sense. Like, who is... People from the UK, do you still use bloody and bleeding? I would like to know. Or rather, 15-year-old me would like to know. Sometimes things don't have to make sense, Sarah added thoughtfully. You know? Says you, Brian retorted. Where are you getting this information anyway? You seem to know things before the rest of us do. No, you're just oblivious, Brian snorted. In any case, here's my dorm. I think I can make it inside my room on my own. Why is Brian such an asshole? Oh, right. Sarah down casted her eyes. See you after break, I suppose. Sure, Brian mumbled lightly before walking into the building. It was at the moment that it be it was at the moment that it began to rain. <laughs> it was at the moment that it began to rain, and Sarah cursed herself for not bringing an umbrella. Then she bent down. It's supposed to be bent. She bent down and patted patted the grass, whispering. So she's talking to the grass. At least you'll have a bit of nurturing. Please drink up. Suddenly the rain around her stopped falling. She ended up being dry while it was still raining everywhere else. But her confusion was ended when she looked up and saw she was being sheltered by an umbrella. The hand holding the umbrella belonged to Lenore. Sarah stood up slowly, giving Lenore time to lift the umbrella and said, How'd you get here so fast? I followed you, Lenore smiled shamelessly. Sarah rolled her eyes playfully. Well, thanks. Hey, don't worry about it, Lenore giggled. So, how'd it go? You should know, Sarah replied. You were following me. True, Lenore nodded, but I couldn't hear a single thing you guys were saying since I was so far away. So, spill. And I used one, two, three, four, five, six, six O's. So, spill. All right, all right. Well, nothing happened, nothing happened really. He's still a uh, jackass. 
No, Lenore. Yes, Lenore. Brian is still a jackass. Well, he sure seems like a jackass to me, Lenore huffed. I'm telling you, Sarah, you can do better. I agree. Sarah could be better. Brian is so mean to her. Why did I write this? Girl, really sweet girl likes super mean guy. Like, why is that a trope? Well, he sure seems like a jackass to me. I'm telling you, you can do better. Blah, blah, blah. Your taste in boys isn't exactly the best either. Sarah said that. Says the girl who knows absolutely nothing about boys. <laughs> Lenore uh, giggled. Listen, let's go to the cafeteria. I could go for some hot chocolate right now. Sure, Sarah nodded. Oh, and... Sarah? Wait a minute. Sa Sarah is calling herself? No. I think that's a typo. It's supposed to be Lenore. Oh, and Lenore? Mm-hmm. This is really random, but I noticed something weird about myself. You know how I'm a vegan, yes? Yeah. Well, today, when I smelled meat in the cafeteria, and when I saw it, It didn't make me sick. Lenore stopped dead in her tracks. Because we all know the smell of meat makes vegans sick. All vegans, everywhere. Okay, so if you want to, uh, like, sub, uh, fuck. Um... Subscribe. Yes, subscribing is good. Liking and subscribing is good, but that's not what I was going to say. If you want to support, yes, support this channel. Not really, not so much supporting me like getting drunk and doing this, but like I'm writing a magical girl novel right now and I'm trying to eat. So like if you want to support me, you can tip me at coffee or you can become a patron. I will love you forever. Like I love my patrons so much. Because, like, we live in a time where, like, how? Why would you put money towards someone just so they can create their art and do their stuff on YouTube? But, like, there are people out there who are willing to, like, do that kind of thing. And I, I love you guys so, so much. Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, I have those things. Um, likes and subscribes help me out quite a lot. Um, shout out to LCT Comics and Cassie and Holly. And I will catch you guys next time when I'm sober. Uh, I just, the coronavirus thing is happening, so I can't walk into McDonald's or anything. But I really want some fries. But the line is so long. Um, so I'll probably, and I can't drive anyway. <laughs> so how would I get there? Um, so yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content that's more coherent than this. And I love you guys so much. And thank you for watching. Bye.